Hello, uh, good afternoon. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Zhang Jun. Uh, I'm senior manager uh, uh, for IFC for the Caribbean region. Um, as uh, many speakers uh, uh, you, you had uh, heard from, uh, talking about the successful implementation of the logistic hub uh, would uh, send the Jamaican economy to a different uh, 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 growth trajectory. Um, the private sector participation, especially in financing, is a key to ensure the success. Uh, in this regard, I will be uh, uh, talking a bit about the role of IFC, what we can do to facilitate. It's up there. I have only five slides, so it should be uh, very quick. Um, uh, first of all, uh, many of you might have heard of IFC. Um, you know, we are part of the World Bank. Uh, if anything you need to know about us, that we are the private sector specialist of the, of the World Bank Group. Um, uh, we, we seek uh, private sector solutions. Uh, we operate uh, we have uh, three pillars of uh, operations. Uh, the first one is uh, investment operation. Uh, this uh, the you know, direct investment in the private sector companies. Uh, last year, uh, we invested about $25 billion worldwide. The second pillar is uh, advisory services. That is, uh, we provide the technical assistance to the government, to the companies. Uh, uh, usually this is uh, a, the, the grant amount last year we distributed was about $250 million. Then the third pillar of, uh, of uh, operation is uh, asset management. Uh, currently we have $8.5 billion under our uh, management. Um, in terms, in terms of the investment, let me go into some details. Um, this is the uh, pie chart for the, the whole World Bank Group. Last year, um, the World Bank Group channeled $16 billion to IDA countries. Uh, IDA, uh, International Development Association, those are the poorest countries uh, in the world. In the whole Latin America, only eight countries uh, qualified for that funding. In the Caribbean, mainly is uh, like Haiti, Dominica, Grenada, a few small countries. The second uh, uh, main uh, source of financing is the IBRD, that is uh, all the rest uh, eligible countries, including Jamaica, uh, that is uh, in that is $16 billion. Then the other uh, funding source of the World Bank Group is that the IFC, I just said, uh, 25 billion last year. Um, you know, this has come a long way. When I joined the IFC, it was like $200 million <laughs> those days, but it was uh, quite a while ago. Um, in, in the Caribbean, uh, the IFC has an investment portfolio of uh, $1 billion. Uh, in Jamaica, about uh, $270 million investment. We do equity and loan and everything in between the structure of the product. Um, this is uh, uh, just to give you an example of what we have done worldwide in the ports. Um, we have invested uh, in 66 ports in the world uh, with uh, about uh, $1.3 billion of uh, investment currently in, in our portfolio. Uh, this uh, including $300 million uh, investment in the expansion of the Panama Canal. Now, the logistic hub in the Jamaica context. Um, Jamaica GDP last year was about $15 billion. Uh, 
Um, you know, this is uh, why this uh, logistic hub would have such a huge impact on the economy. Um, we, there are various uh, figures, uh, you know, uh, regarding what would be the funding requirement for logistic uh, uh, hubs. Uh, you know, probably minimum seven, eight billion dollars uh, to up to 12, 15, or even more, depends on, how, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 scale, the, the scope, what would be included in that. Still, in the context of the GDP of $15 billion, this is a huge funding requirement. Um, on the one hand, uh, if Jamaica could mobilize, let's say, $500 million extra investment through the logistic hub, it would uh, increase the GDP by 3.3%. That alone would uh, push Jamaica out of the, this, uh, you know, stale, no growth. And uh, uh, however, the challenge, it's, uh, it's uh, also very high. And uh, if, if you look at the banking sector, the total assets, it's about uh, $7 billion. Uh, in the past, uh, the uh, Jamaica uh, foreign direct investment has, has been, uh, you know, 250 million, uh, that was the last year. So um, fundraising, uh, especially from the private sector, it's, uh, it's going to be a daunting task. Um, uh, that would need uh, hard working and also a, a lot of uh, innovative uh, thinking. Um, you know, naturally, uh, uh, you will ask, you know, how Jamaica can make sure this uh, uh, logistic hub projects are bankable. Um, from an investor's point of view, we work with the private sector, and generally, you look at uh, three elements. One is uh, commercial viability, and all this whatever you propose there has to be highly, uh, has to be commercially viable. And commercially viable, that means you have, uh, you know, credible sponsors and that has uh, financial means and track record to do whatever they promise to do. And that the market has to be feasible and there has to be a favorable uh, regulatory environment framework there. Uh, and then has to be the sound financial structuring. So there are many uh, factors. That's what uh, the private sector would do uh, during the due diligence. And then, you know, we will also look at the development, in, development impact, you know, the, the, in terms of job creations and uh, uh, what uh, uh, positive uh, uh, impact it can bring uh, for the long-term development of the country. And finally, the uh, social in, in environment uh, responsibilities. And uh, so, you know, these are the triple bottom lines that, uh, that we look at. Um, I would say there is no shortage of uh, financing for good projects anywhere we go you always see the private sector are chasing for investments, but has to be bankable, good investments, and, and nobody wants to deal with the ones, uh, you know, that are not, uh, not bankable. So, that's the very last, last slide. What can IFC do to help the uh, logistic hub? Um, working with the, working in partnership with the domestic and foreign partners, and the government. IFC can provide the direct financing of that uh, $25 billion, a small portion can come, and uh, uh, we can help uh, structuring and do the fund fundraising. Uh, we can also provide the local currency to finance the local portion of, the, of, uh, of uh, any uh, financing plans, so to match the currency uh, uh, to, to, to minimize the uh, currency mismatch. 
uh, we can uh, we have the means advisory to support the SMEs, uh, especially if they are capacity building. We can directly intervene uh, uh, in the uh, local banks, financial institutions, to uh, strengthen them financially. Uh, uh, otherwise, uh, we have a unit that is structuring PPPs. Uh, that would be uh, very useful in this, in this situation. And finally, through our participation in the investment, we can help uh, structuring the transactions to meet the uh, uh, investors' needs. Um, in summary, um, we are very committed to contributing to the success of the, of the logistic hub. Um, Jamaica can count on us to can count on our active participation. Thanks.